Hallelujah. Blessings to you all on YouTube tonight. I am Apostle Carmen Haywood, I'm the senior pastor of Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry here, right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Listen, you are in for a treat on tonight. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. All right. So stay with us as long as you can. I want you to share with your followers. Listen, take this video and put it on somebody's uh, timeline. Listen, share it in, in somebody's email. Listen, email somebody this word. You can do that all right on youtube amen so listen stay with us as long as you can this is pipw ministry all right listen i'm going to log on to instagram and i'm going to log on to facebook live amen in jesus mighty name hallelujah there is a word from the lord I, I, I listen people of god i'm telling you there is a word from the lord and i am so excited on tonight hallelujah because this is an unscheduled night amen we're usually not on on a thursday Yes, we're usually not on on a Thursday night, but you know what? I am here as the Spirit of the Lord has led me tonight, amen, to minister to the body of Christ. And this word is not only going to bless you, but this word is going to strengthen you. Do you hear me? Hallelujah, because the body of Christ needs strength right now. Because many of you, it seems like it's not going to happen. You know, for many of you, God made you a promise. And it seems like it's not about to come to pass. But I come to tell you tonight as God's prophet, hallelujah, the word of the Lord tonight is see. Hallelujah. And another uh, um, terminology of the word see. Amen. A translation of the word see is behold. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so God told me to tell you tonight, he wants you to see what he's about to do. Hallelujah. Because a new thing is about to spring up in your life like never before. And there are many of you that are waiting on the promise. There are those of you that are watching under the sound of my voice, you've been saying, okay, God, you made me a promise, but Lord, I'm watching, I'm waiting, hallelujah, for the promise to come to pass. Oh, hallelujah. God wants me to encourage you on tonight. Listen, he said, tell my children to see. And what that means is to look again. Hallelujah. Because some of you are going to wake up in the morning and the blessing is going to be right there. Do you hear me? In the spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Some of you are going to look up, glory to God, and listen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord told me to tell you, even as you look up in the morning, even as you get up in the morning, hallelujah, the blessing is going to be right there. Amen. God bless you all on tonight. Apostle Akeem, God bless you, man of God. Amen. Sister Melissa, God bless you tonight. Listen, Sister Kamaya, God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, amen. We logged on tonight, but still I'm unable to share in our group all right in our ministry group so i need somebody to go ahead and post this this video in our ministry group amen for our members of covenant partners amen glory to god listen god bless each and every one of you i love you all in jesus mighty name hallelujah listen the word of the lord tonight is see amen god said tell my people to look hallelujah and some of you gotta look again glory to god god bless you minister cc god bless you yolanda my big sis there in philly god bless each and every one of you tonight listen stay with us as long as you can amen we're not gonna be on long but there is a word from god and so the Lord took me to, and listen, I want to say greetings to everyone on Facebook Live. I already greeted uh, YouTube and I greeted Instagram. Amen. But I am Apostle Carmen Haywood, the senior pastor of Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry here, right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And when I tell you all, God is moving mightily by his spirit. Hallelujah. Miracle signs and wonders. Glory to God are following those who believe. All you got to do is come and believe. That's it. And God will release a miracle. Amen. He'll release the healing that you need. Hallelujah. Listen, God will grant unto you what it is that you've been believing him for, for a long time. Hallelujah. And there are so many testimonies, amen, that are springing up from this ministry. I can't speak for nobody else's church. I can't speak for nobody else's ministry. But here at PIPW Ministry, God is doing things that he promised us years ago. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. He said, all I need you to do is be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Hallelujah. When you put God first, whoo, I feel like preaching tonight. Hallelujah. When you obey God, let me tell you something. Every promise he made to you will manifest. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. All you got to do is walk in obedience to the Father. Hey, hallelujah. And sometimes your connections matter. Oh, I feel a preacher in my belly. I feel the fire of God in my belly tonight. 
Ah, glory to God is prophetic surge empowerment. So those of you that came to be ignited, listen, I got your message tonight. Hallelujah. Those of you that came to be set ablaze, hallelujah, in the Holy Ghost, I got your message tonight. Hallelujah. Those of you that need strength, oh, I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Those of you that need strength tonight, the Lord is going to strengthen you. My God, hallelujah. This word, glory to God, is going to transform your mind. Some of you, you were in the bottom. I hear the Lord saying, some of you were so, you were in the bottom. You know how you hit rock bottom and you know how you feel like the bottom has fallen out? Some of you are right there. Hallelujah. But God wants me to tell you tonight, it's not over. Hallelujah. It's just getting started. <laughs> Hallelujah. You listen, your life ain't over. Your life is just getting started. You may say, Apostle, I feel like I'm in the valley. You might say, I feel, oh God. You might say, I feel like it ain't going to happen. Oh, I come to tell you tonight as his prophet, it will happen. And God says it's going to happen on his time, not on your time. Oh God. Hallelujah. It ain't going to happen when you want it to happen. It's going to happen at the appointed time. Sayeth the Lord. It ain't over, Sister Tony. Ah, glory to God. I feel like running around my house. Hallelujah. It's not over until God says it's over. And one thing you got to understand that the promises of God are yes. And in him, amen. If he said it, he's going to do it. You just got to wait for the manifestation. And in the midst of your waiting, who am I talking to? Hallelujah. In the midst of your waiting, you must obey God. Somebody shout obedience is key in this season. Come on here. Somebody shout obedience is key. Hallelujah. That's the only key that's going to unlock the door that the father has for you is obedience. My God. And the moment you make up in your mind to say, you know what? I'm going to be obedient this time. Hallelujah. Because I cannot risk another seven years. Who am I talking to? How many of you know, glory to God, that when you disobey God, you got to wait seven more years. Woo. Somebody shout, I ain't got seven more years to wait. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout, I ain't got that many years to wait. Because God made me a promise. And God told me to tell you. He says, see, <laughs> I'm about to do a new thing in your life. Hallelujah. The word see means behold. And the word behold means see. Hallelujah. God says, see, I'm about to do something new in you. I'm about to do something new through you. My God. Hallelujah. He says, all you got to do is look again. Woo, hallelujah. Because see, the devil wanted you to stop looking. Oh, you can't stop looking. When you're waiting on God, you can't stop looking. That's just like when your parents are on their way home. And you know they're coming home with the groceries. What do you do? You look out the window. And you're like, wait a minute. I know daddy about to pull up. I know mom about to pull up. Hold on. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to tonight? Hallelujah. God say, take another look. He said, take another look. L listen, it's okay. Hallelujah, that you got a little discouraged. My God. He says, I need you to take another look now. Hallelujah, because I'm about to, hey, hallelujah, I'm about to let it appear right before your presence. I'm about, to, oh God. He says, the manifold blessing, the manifestation, hallelujah, of his presence, the manifestation of his word, hallelujah, is about to meet you right where you are. Somebody shout, I ain't got to go nowhere to get it. Hallelujah, because God's going to bring it right to me. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody shout, I ain't got to go nowhere to get it. Hallelujah, this blessing. And God's going to put it right in your face. Hallelujah. But not only is it going to bless you, it's about to bless your family. Mm, who am I talking to? He said, this blessing is about to bless your whole household. See, all you got to do is stay in position. Come on. Hallelujah. All you got to do is stay in position and, and be prepared and be ready for the manifestation of what God is getting ready to release in your life. Glory to God. Listen, God took me to Isaiah. Amen. 43, 18 and 19. That's where he took me about three hours ago. Amen. And that was before my leadership call. I had to meet with the leaders, the, the apostles and the bishops. Amen. With my apostle. Glory to God. Amen. On an awesome leadership call. Amen. That we just came off of about an hour ago. And so before the leadership call, God dropped his word in my spirit. So I had to hold it the whole time. <laughs> I wanted it to burst out on the Zoom with the leaders, but that wasn't the right time. Amen. I had to hold it. Glory to God. Hallelujah for each and every one of you. Those of you that are tuning in right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I had to hold the word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so God is going to bless many of you richly on tonight. Listen. Listen. L let me just insert this right here. Amen. Some of you are trying to schedule everything. Amen. You're trying to have everything on schedule. God says the way that I'm about to move is unscheduled. Y'all not ready tonight. Y'all not ready tonight. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, amen, we got A, B, and C. 
Sometimes, come on now, now we know we serve a God of order, but let me just help about eight of you out right here that think you got it mapped out. You know, you think you got it mapped out. You think you got it all planned. You think you got it all together. I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to do it like that. And this is going to be the result. God told me to tell you ain't going to happen like that this time. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, listen, you can put your plan in your pocket. He said, because my plan mm, 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 is a perfect plan. Hallelujah. He says, my plan for your life is greater than what you could think or imagine. He said, you've been trying to work the plan that you had orchestrated for your life. He said, but no, 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 no. I'm getting ready to come in with my plan, saith the Lord. He says, see, ah, glory to God. That's the word of the Lord tonight. See, see. See, some of you going to have a testimony seven days from now. You're going to be able to say, wait a minute. I kept looking and God showed me. Hallelujah. Because sometimes some of you are looking in the wrong place. But, but sometimes the blessing is right in front of you. See? <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of you might say, I was looking around the corner. I was looking down the street. I was looking over here, looking over there. God said, no, no, no. Everything you need is right in front of you. See? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just encouraged about eight of you right there. And the weight just lifted off of you because some of you been carrying weights because you've been trying to do it on your own. You've been trying to do it how grandmother did it. You've been trying to do it how uncle did it. You've been trying to do things how everybody else been doing it. And God say, I can't do it with you like that because you're different. You're chosen. You're peculiar and you're set apart for my use, say of God. Come on, somebody. We don't belong to ourselves. Who told you you belong to you? You don't belong to yourself because I surely know I don't belong to myself. Hallelujah. God changed everything about me from head to toe. And I ain't talking about material. I ain't talking about the clothes that's on my back. Hallelujah. I'm talking about my spirit. Hey, hallelujah. I'm talking about my mind. I'm talking about my heart. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because when Jesus comes in, Oh, I feel the power of God tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, when Jesus comes in, do you hear me? Hallelujah. He'll transform everything about you. Hallelujah. He'll begin to deliver you. He'll begin to heal you. Hallelujah. But he's healing you and delivering you for where he's about to take you. See, anytime God deliver us, it's for a reason. Come on, because if that's the case, then you can stay bound. Come on, somebody. But for those of you that know you're going somewhere, Adrian, God got to come in and deliver you. He got to come in and heal you. Ah, glory to God. But it's only for those who really want it. See, you got to know that God has purpose for your life. You got to know where you're going. Because if you don't know, hey, who am I talking to? I just felt the release right there. If you don't know where you're going, oh, I just seen an angel. Hey, Shatanda Baha. Hallelujah. If you don't know where you're going, then guess what? You be lost. You know, like the, the old folks used to say, lost in the sauce. Come on, there's a lot of believers just lost in the sauce. You just all in the sauce. And you need God to come and pick you up and say, see? See, 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 <laughs> I'm about to do a new thing in your life. See, see that? Come on here. Hallelujah. God's about to pick many of you up. Glory to God out of the sauce, out of the situation, out of the mess. Oh my God. And, and can we just touch that right there? Some of you are in a mess because you created the mess. Mm, I know, I know, I know this ministry is too raw for some people. They say you ain't preaching Jesus or oh, I'm preaching Jesus. Oh, I'm preaching Jesus all day. Listen, it, this is Jesus all day. Because if you listen to the word of the Lord, then guess what? It is God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He gives clear direction because the Holy Spirit, what? Leads and guides us into all truth. But some of you so caught up in the book that you ain't even got the spirit. So you don't even know the, the times and the seasons. Some of you so caught up in the book, you're like, okay, wait a minute. I got to read this scripture. I got to read that scripture. It got to be like this. It got to be precise. And it got, no, nah, you caught up in religion, baby. Get, 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 go ahead. Go, go, go ahead with all of that. <laughs> hallelujah. Because you're missing God. Hey, hallelujah. Because your spirit man is dying while you're trying to dissect what it is that you think. That God wants you to read or what you think that God wants you to partake of or what you may think that it, that is for this season. And the Lord said, no, 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 no. I need you to just be still and look. Hallelujah. I need you to just quiet your spirit and look. Hallelujah. Listen, let's read Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. I know some of y'all tired and God going to give you strength tonight. I know. I know some of you, your spirit man is tired, but guess what? You ain't going to be tired no more. After tonight, hallelujah, your spirit going to be on a thousand. Hallelujah. Why? Because God wants to ignite you so that he can speak to you. Glory to God. See, sometimes, mm, 
Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to be in the right place at the right time, but our mindset got to be together because see, we can be in a place, but if our mindset ain't right, <laughs> hallelujah, it doesn't matter. Amen. Because you're receiving stuff, you're hearing stuff and you really have no knowledge of it. You can't put it all together. And the reason why is because you all over the place. Who am I talking to? And when we are all over the place, the master, Jesus Christ himself, put us right back together again. Don't he do it? Come on, won't he do it? Hallelujah. Doesn't he do it every single time? Come on, somebody. Every time we all over the place, we like a, a puzzle. You know how you get the kids a puzzle when you take the puzzle out and the pieces is all over the place and you got to tell the kids, wait a minute, hold on, get the edges. Come on, who am I talking to? Hallelujah. I know it ain't Christmas time, but some of y'all going to get some puzzles. Listen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, you, you tell the kids, uh-uh, get the, get, the, get the edges. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let me look for the, the corner pieces. Come on. You, you like, wait a minute. Let me, get the, let me get the corner pieces together. Right? You got to tell the kids, wait a minute. Let me get some order here. Because if you try to put all the pieces together, you're going to make a catastrophe. And then after you make a catastrophe, you're going to um, get sidetracked. And then you're going to get discouraged. Who am I talking to? When you try to put the puzzle together yourself, oh, you get discouraged. You get discouraged. But if you let the Holy Ghost... Woo, hallelujah. If you let the power of God say, wait a minute, take these pieces here, do the outline. Come on. I got some of y'all like the y'all like puzzles. I know. <laughs> Holy Ghost is on somebody's street tonight. Listen, some of y'all need to go get a puzzle because y'all mind is all over the place. Listen, get you a puzzle. Not 500 pieces, maybe 300 or something like that, you know, <laughs> and work on it every day when you come home from work. Anyway, listen, so you take the <laughs> you take the corner pieces, right? And you get it together. Once you get them corner pieces together, then you turn the puzzle over to the kids. You're like, now you can take it. Because I got the border together for you. I got the structure together for you. That's what the Holy Ghost does. Come on. He knows how to pull us back together. Come on. He knows. Hallelujah. L listen, Sister Maisha said, I need one right about now. See that? See that? That's a confirmation. Get you a puzzle. It's going to help you put things together. See, some of y'all think prophetic ministries is pathetic. No, prophetic ministries are powerful. Y'all not ready tonight. Hallelujah. Prophetic ministries are powerful because I don't know your situation, but God does. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know where your mind is, but God does. Come on, somebody. So when you're connected to a prophetic ministry, instead of you downing that ministry, instead of you coming against that ministry, say, wait a minute. Maybe God got something he want to say to me. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I'm not in position. Hallelujah. Maybe I'm out of position. Come on. Glory to God. And the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will get you back in alignment again. All of a sudden, he on your street. All of a sudden, he pulling at your heart. <laughs> Come on. All of a sudden, the Holy Ghost is doing a work inside of you. Hallelujah. That the doctors can't even do. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is doing something inside of you that you needed him to do a long time ago. But it took you being broken. It took you being all over the place. Who am I talking to? It took you being a mess. My God. Hallelujah. And sometimes in our mess. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Sometimes in our mess, we want to hide. God said, don't hide in your mess in this season. He said, come out and come forth with your mess. Hallelujah. He said, because I'm going to make your mess into a message. Hallelujah. And glory to God. And that's the only way that God's going to get the glory out of your life in this season. When you give him the mess. But you got to be real when you give God the mess. Come on here. Hallelujah. Because he's going to strategically, Sister Debbie, he's going to strategically take those pieces. He's going to say, wait a minute. Give me that. You need that in that corner right there. All right. Let me start building this edge right here. Hold, hold on. I, I need this corner over here now. I know it hurt. I know it hurt, but give it to me. Hold on. Hold on. I need you to give me that too. Wait a minute. Uh, now, 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 Sister Maisha, hold on. N now I got the, I know you don't want to give that up either. Hold on. I need that piece. That's the peace I need, saith God. I need that peace, hallelujah, that's taking over your mind. That's the peace that I need, saith the Lord, because that's the peace that's going to connect the other, oh God, that's going to connect the other peace that's going to help you be stable. Can I just give y'all a prophetic secret tonight? God is not going to give you any blessing that he promised to you until you are ready to receive it. Can, can, I, can I say that again for those in the back that didn't hear me? God is not going to give you anything that he promised you until you are ready mentally, emotionally. That's your spirit. Hallelujah. And physically. Come on. Hallelujah. So if you weaken your spirit, weaken your spiritual life. If you weak, no, you need some strength tonight. That's when he comes and strengthens you. Hey, hallelujah. Come on. But you got to be real and say, God, I'm a little weak. I'm a little tired because I've been doing it on my own. And that's when God says, see. 
See? <laughs> See, I'm about to do a new thing in your life. I just need you to look again. I just need you to focus again. Who am I talking to? Because when you lose focus, you're all over the place. You want to be here, there, and everywhere. When you're off focus, you can't think straight, right, Sister Tony? Come on, you can't think straight. So God says, tonight I'm bringing my people back together. He says, the Holy Spirit is going to bring you back together. But see, it starts here. Come on, it starts in your mind. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It starts in your mind. Hallelujah. Then it hits your heart. Come on. That's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It starts here, and then it works its way here. And once it works its way here, then it hits your spirit, man. And once it hits your spirit, man, here comes manifestation. Woo! Hallelujah. See, see, it's not until it gets here. That's why Jesus said, let this mind, my Lord, he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. So we need the mind of Christ to be able to receive his blessings. Come on. Catch the revelation. Somebody shout, Lord, renew my mind tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Lord, I need you to renew my mind. I need you to renew my thoughts. I need you to get a hold of my mind again because you made me a promise years ago. And in order for me to receive the promise, it got to line up with your will, God. My thoughts got to line up. My obedience got to line up. Who am I preaching to on tonight hallelujah everything concerning you got to line up now but you got to say to God Lord I need you to line it up for me hallelujah I'm a complete mess hallelujah but God hey shatan I need you to line it up for me now so I'm going to give you this peace, God, the peace that I've been holding on to. God, I'm going to give you this peace over here, the peace that I thought I couldn't live without. Oh, my God. I'm going to give you that too, God, because I know you got better for me. Woo! Hallelujah. Who am I talking to on tonight? Some of you think you got the best thing since sliced bread. Let me just tell you the word of the Lord. God say, when you give up that thing, Anita, I'm going to give you my best. Woo! Hallelujah. When you give up that thing that you're trying to hold on to, that you're trying to work out and God told you to let it go a long time ago. Hallelujah. Because it's killing you on the inside. My God. And it's stopping your progress. Who am I talking to? And it's stopping your forward motion. Glory to God. You can't do nothing in God bound up. Hey. So you need God to loose you tonight. You need him to loose your mind. Hallelujah. You need him to loose your will. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Lord, not my will, but your will be done, God. Hallelujah. Because I can't make it without you, Jesus. You're the author and the finisher of my faith. You're the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. You're everything to me, God. Hallelujah. So because you're everything and I know that I need you in the morning. Who am I talking to? I need you in the noonday. I need you in the evening time. I need you in the midnight hour. Oh, some of y'all getting ready to cross over to the midnight hour when you've been up all night. Hallelujah. You've been tossing and turning. Who am I talking to? Some of you think you need a little marijuana. You need a little alcohol. The Lord said you don't need none of that. Hallelujah. All you need is the Holy Ghost and all you need is his power. My God. Thank you for sharing, Sister Zia, tonight. The Lord bless you real good. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I told y'all I was on fire. Hallelujah. Sometimes I try to prepare the church and say, listen, I need you to put your seatbelt on and what I need you to do, church, I need you to ride with me just for a minute. Hallelujah. Because we're getting ready to go somewhere. Hallelujah. But just know on the ride. Hallelujah. There's healing. There's deliverance. There's miracles that you need. Oh, glory to God. So even on the ride, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Sometimes on the ride, you got to put your hands up. Hallelujah. When the ride getting ready to go down. Because it's about to be real good. Somebody shout, even in my storm. Hallelujah. Even in my situation. Sometimes I got to lift my hands. Hallelujah. To be able to enjoy the ride. Ho! Oh, glory to God. Sometimes I got to lift my hands up, even when I'm afraid. Hallelujah. See, now some of y'all like roller coasters. I don't really like roller coasters. You know, they just make my heart pump too fast, you know, hallelujah, but the kids say, mom, put your hands up, and I'm like, okay, and I realize, Kiana, I realize when I put my hands up, listen, hallelujah, the ride go faster than what I thought, but when I hold my hands like this, and I'm scared, <laughs> come on, somebody, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this ride is a little too long, but sister Maisha, when I lift my hands, whoo, Hallelujah. When I lift my hands, Prophet Chanel. Hallelujah. The ride is a little bit better. Oh, come on, somebody. Then the kids say, Mama, you enjoyed that ride, didn't you? I'm like, uh-huh. Knowing I was scared to death. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's just like God. When he's taking you through a storm, just lift your hands. 
Just lift your hands and enjoy the ride, daughter Asia. Come on. Hallelujah. Learn how to lift your hands. Hallelujah. Learn how. Oh, God. Who is this word for tonight? Learn how to lift your hands. Y'all sharing tonight. Y'all share on Facebook. Hallelujah. Learn how to lift your hands. Because lifting your hands is a sign of surrenderance. And you're saying, you know what? I'm ready for the ride. Hallelujah. When you lift your hands to God, you're saying, you know what? I trust you. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. When you lift your hands, Katrina, you're saying, you know what, God? I'm in the midst of it, and I really don't know how it's going to work out, but I trust you, Lord. I trust you with everything inside of me. Hallelujah. When we lift our hands to God, guess what? We say, God, have your way. Have your way, Lord. You have your way now. Hallelujah. I know it's going to be a little rocky, but I trust you, Lord. I know you're in the driver's seat. Hallelujah. I know, oh God, I know you're the one that's riding this ride. Hallelujah. I know that you are the one. Oh God, who am I talking to tonight? All five of you, amen, 35 of you, is five of you tonight. You were saying, God, I need you to take the, the, the will. I need you to take control of where I'm going. Hallelujah. Miranda, you've been saying, I need you to take control of where you're taking me. God, because if I make the wrong decision, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to mess this thing up and I might derail. Come on, somebody. I might go the wrong way. Who am I talking to? Hallelujah. But that's when we got to know that Jesus is the one. Hallelujah. That's in the forefront. Jesus is the one. Hallelujah. That's driving it. Gee, yo, y'all not ready tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Jesus is in front of me. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. He goes before me. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Jesus is in front of me. I have nothing to fear. Come on somebody. Jesus is in front of me so I can lift my hands and be comfortable. Hallelujah. Jesus is in front of me and he paves the way for me. Evangelist Arlene, just like God is paving the way for you right now. You haven't seen anything yet, people of God. Hallelujah. God said, tell my people again, see, See, I'm about to do a new thing in you, but I need you to give up the hard thing. I need you to give up that thing that you're trying to have control over. Who is the Holy Ghost speaking to on tonight? Hallelujah. Come on, just give it up. Just give it up. Listen, if we was in church, I'd tell the church, look at your name and say, just give it up. Just give it up. Just give it up. Just give it up so the next time you close your eyes and open your eyes, hallelujah, listen, just give it up, just give it up, because because the next time you close your eyes, come on, somebody need to do that tonight, go ahead and close your eyes, hallelujah, because that's how it's going to be in the morning for some of you, and that's how it's going to be even next week, hallelujah, some of you going to look up and the blessing is going to be right there, hear me in the Holy Ghost, hear me in the Spirit, so God gave me Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, what does it say? It says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19, he says, behold, and that word behold means see. You got it, Carla? Come on, you got it, Tia? God says, see, I will do a new thing. Now, somebody shout now. Come on, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? That's a question. That's a question. See, when you know something is about to spring up, you have expectation. Who am I talking to? Because there are some of you, the enemy wanted you to lose your expectation of the blessing coming to pass. Hallelujah. But you still got expectation. Listen, he says, shall you not know it? He asked a question. You, you don't know. Wait a minute. You don't know that I'm about to do a new thing. I promised you that I was going to do a new thing. You still don't get it. You still don't get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? See, that's the mind right there. That's why God said he's renewing some of y'all minds tonight. Come on, he got to touch your mind again. Hallelujah, so that you can wait for the manifestation of the promise. Come on, somebody. That's just like if you know a package is on the way. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Some of you know a package is about to be delivered. You keep looking outside, right? Or some of y'all track the FedEx uh, truck. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Y'all doing like the kids now. Listen, the kids be tracking the FedEx truck. They're like, mommy, it'll be here in three minutes. I'm like, how do you know? How do you know the package is about to come? How do you know the package is about to show up? They're like, oh, I can see it on the thing. I'm like, how you get access to that? Oh, it's an app, mom. You, you, ain't, you ain't hip to it? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't hip to all that. I don't need to watch no truck. Come on here. Hallelujah. But that's just like, hey, Shatanda Baha. I felt the release right there. That's just like your blessing. Sister Maisha. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to watch. Woo! Glory to God. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to keep your eyes open. That's why God said, behold. He says, see, I do a new thing in you. I do a new thing. He says, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He says, I will even make a way in the wilderness 
Ah, who is in the wilderness tonight? You coming out tonight. Redman Sukoda Bashe. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? You coming out tonight. Oh, you coming out of the wilderness. God say, see, just look, just look, just look. He says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I love this scripture because it doesn't just say a river. It says rivers. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible doesn't just say a river. God says, I'll make rivers in the desert. Come on. Hallelujah. He says, listen, this is the time I'm about to do a new thing in your life. But you got to look. You got to look. You got to see. You got to see. You got to look. You got to look. You got to see. You got to see. I know the devil was distracting you because he wanted you to look at the wrong thing. But God says, look in front of you now. Hey, he says, everything you need is right in front of you. My God. Hallelujah. He says, everything you need. Hallelujah. Is right in front of you. And see, it's right in arm's reach. This is why amen, the apostle Paul said, I count not myself to be apprehended. He said, but this one thing I do. He says, forgetting those things that are behind and I'm reaching forth. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I'm reaching forth for the blessing. I ain't going to miss it this time. Come on, somebody. I'm reaching forth because I know what I'm reaching for this time. I ain't going to make a mistake. Hallelujah. I'm not going to doubt God in this season. Who am I encouraging on tonight? Hallelujah. No more doubt. No more fear. No more unbelief. Glory to God. You got to reach now. Somebody Somebody shout, I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach and I'm going to get the prize. Uh, hallelujah. See, the apostle Paul said, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. He said, I'm forgetting what's behind me, Ashley. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miranda, he said, I'm forgetting those things, apostle Paul. So you got to forget your past. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Receive that word tonight because you're not your past anymore. Hallelujah. You got to forget your past and everything attached to it. I don't care who was in your past. Hallelujah. Whatever was in your past, whoever was in your past, you got to leave it there. Come on. God said, leave it there. Hallelujah. He said, leave it there. Hallelujah. God said, hey, shatan I hear you, God. He said, I forgot about it. So why you ain't forget about it? Woo. Jesus have mercy. I feel the fire of God tonight. God said, I forgot about it. So why are you worrying about it? I, I, I didn't, I didn't forgot about that. You done repented for that. Hallelujah. You done turned away from that. Hallelujah. So because you turned Yolandis, hallelujah. Now it's time for you to really turn. Come on, you turned your body, but now it's time to turn your mind away from it. Oh, glory to God. You got to turn your mind. Oh, this is good tonight. I feel a breakthrough for about 10 of y'all. Hallelujah. You got to turn your mind away from it now. This is why the Bible said that, listen, the apostle Paul said, I count not myself to be apprehended. He said, but this one thing I've learned to do. I, 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 listen, listen, listen. See, see, Apostle Paul, he done got caught up in so much stuff. He said, you know what? I, I learned to do this now. And in order for me to move forward. Woo, glory, I got to forget what's behind me. Y'all not ready tonight. In order for me, oh, to go where God is telling me to go, I, I got to move forward. I can't look back no more. Hallelujah. Come on, Cynthia Carroll. You can't look back no more. The moment you look back, you're going to be like Lot's wife and you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. And guess what happened with her? She died immediately. I told the church on Sunday. Some people was looking like, wow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But how many of you know disobedience will cost you? How many of you know every time you look back and you go back to this and you go back to that, that God told you to come out of. Do you know you, you, mm, you want to wait a little while. Amen. For the promise to come back around again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to wait a little while. Hallelujah. For it to happen again. God ain't just going to put it in front of you. He said, no, you got to wait a little while now. I got to make sure that you learned the lesson. Woo. Hallelujah. He said, I got to make sure. Hallelujah. That I'm going to get an investment back on what I put inside of you. So I need to know. That I can trust you now. Hallelujah. He said, I ain't going to give you the millions yet. Because I can't even trust you with $100. Come on here. Hallelujah. He said, yes, I made you a promise to be a millionaire. Yes, I made you a promise for multiple businesses. He said, but can you manage the one that I gave you? Can you not complain all the time? <laughs> Hallelujah. Who am I talking to in the Holy Ghost? Some of y'all better stop complaining. Because God hears your complaints. Ooh, glory. He, he hears your complaining. Come on, God hears everything. Hallelujah. So we can't complain. Listen, we got to be like the Apostle Paul. Listen, he said, I count not myself to be stopped in my tracks. You can't stop me now, devil. <laughs> I'm going too fast. Hey, hallelujah. Somebody shout, devil, you can't, you can't stop me now. God got me on an accelerated pace. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I done been through too much. 
Who am I talking to? Some of y'all was getting ready to take off your track sneakers. No, keep your track sneakers on. Hallelujah, because God gave you the sneakers to be able to run in the spirit. My Lord, don't lose momentum now. Don't you lose momentum now, Martha. Come on here. Hallelujah. Keep those track sneakers on, Prophetess T, because you are running. Ah, Sheke, and I'm You are running and you are running this race. But guess what? Yes, we're running it with patience. Hallelujah. But we're also running this race with endurance. And how many of you know a child of God don't give up easy? Woo, hallelujah. I feel like running around my house. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Because this word is for many of you on tonight. Hey, hallelujah. Listen, what did the Apostle Paul say? Come on, let's turn to it. Philippians chapter 3. Come on. Some of y'all don't turn to y'all Bibles. Turn to your Bible tonight. Come on. Come on. So y'all can't say, oh, prophetess, apostle, she ain't give us no word. I gave you a whole lot of word. Get out of here. Come on here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of y'all be saying that shame on you. Glory to God. Because as soon as I open my mouth, the word of God is coming out of my mouth. Hallelujah. And it's coming out quick. Hallelujah. And it's coming out, hey, hallelujah, like a two-edged sword. My God, the Bible says, hallelujah, the word of God is like a double-edged sword. It cuts down to the bone and to the marrow. But here's the blessing of the Lord. He turns around and heals us. Hallelujah. Even after he cuts us with the word, Sister Maisha, come on, you know what God is doing. Hallelujah. Even after he cuts you with the word and it don't feel too good, he turns around and he heals you now. Come on, I see you hitting those hearts. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God, I see y'all hitting them fire flames. Hallelujah, because the fire of God is here tonight. Hey, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. He says breakthrough is in this atmosphere. Breakthrough is in this atmosphere. He says breakthrough is in this atmosphere. Whatever had you bound up until this moment, you are breaking free tonight. Hey, hallelujah. He said, tell my people breakthrough is here right now. You've been waiting for your breakthrough. Hallelujah. But God says your breakthrough is right now. And you're not just breaking through, but you are breaking through to break forth. Hallelujah. You about to break Break forth to the best miracle in your life. Hallelujah. You're about to break forth, my God. Hallelujah. To the manifestation of the blessing. Whew. Somebody shout, this is my appointed time. Come on here. Somebody shout, I suffer for this. Hey, anybody suffer tonight? Come on. We're the folk that suffered. Come on, where are those of you that have been suffering lately? Hallelujah. But the Bible says, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, they're not worthy, Sister Melissa. They are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Somebody shout, that sound like me. Come on, somebody shout, that's, that sound like me. <laughs> hallelujah, I suffered. Hallelujah, but I'm in that number too. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, there's a greater glory. Reman Sukkot Abashe. He cut on my shandi di 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 oh shy yes Lord there's a ya di 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 oh shy yes God I hear you there is a greater glory that is coming out of this you ain't seen nothing yet but God says see <laughs> He said I, I just need you to look again. <laughs> Hallelujah, because the greater glory is about to appear. Oh, yes. So the apostle Paul says what? Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. We're going to read it again. He said, my brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. This is a personal season for many of you because you've been suffering by yourself. Somebody shout, yeah, that's me. That's me. I, I've been suffering by myself. Come on. Be real tonight. Be real tonight. You might even be married and your spouse just having a good old time, but you sitting up there taking every licking. Oh, God. Y'all not ready tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all still not ready tonight. Somebody that just went right over top of your head. No, no, you, you, you suffering by yourself. You, you, you've been suffering by yourself. Be truthful. Amen. Come on. Your spouse going to be blessed through your obedience. If it's God. Did you hear me? Yeah. I said, your spouse is going to be blessed if it's God. But, but see, so, yes, God, I hear you. you want me to say this. I'm going to say it. Yes, Lord. Sometimes you're suffering by yourself because there's a disconnection that is getting ready to. I'm going to lift my hands to God on that one. Cause listen, I, mm, I don't know, but he knows. Come on here. So sometimes there's a sep. Mm. Sometimes there's a separation, but before separation is already a separation. I'm done. Let's get back to the word. Let's get back to the word. He says, forgetting those things which are behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. When there's a separation, you done already separated in the natural and the spirit. It's already, it already took place. You just waiting for the manifestation of what already happened. Yikes. 
Somebody just say yikes. You can't say amen, just say ouch. And if you can't say amen, just say ouch. And after you say ouch, say Lord, fix it. All right? Because only God can do it for you. Only God can heal you. Only God can deliver you. Hello, we sing it. We sing the songs. We sing the songs of Zion. Hello. Come on, only God can do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Apostle Blood, my brother. Listen, only God can do it. Only God can fix it. Only God can mend the broken heart. Woo. I don't care how many relationships you get in afterwards. I don't care how many booze you got afterwards. Hallelujah. Only God can heal a broken heart. Hey, hallelujah. And I teach my church. I teach my members and covenant partners. You cannot be healed in the place that you was wounded. I don't care how you try to do it. You will not. Do you hear me? You got to exit first. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? Let's just stay right here because you got to deal with reality now. Now you got to deal with reality. See, you can only get healed and delivered after you deal with reality. If you don't deal with reality, then you just can't be healed. Come on, you'll be stuck in a rut and in a mess. And you're trying to get yourself out. But just like a... Mm, Lord, you want me to say it? Yeah, just, just like... um. What's that animal that that be um the sheep? Just like that sheep, you know, when it gets stuck, that's what I see in the spirit. You know how that sheep gets stuck? Read up on the sheep. When a sheep gets stuck, it, it digs a hole. Y'all laughing on Facebook. I ain't laughing. Because some of y'all, that's where you at. You, you're digging a hole because the sheep gets um nervous. Read up on it. Read up on the sheep when the sheep is stuck. This is why the 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 shepherd. Amen. Glory to God will go away from the rest of the sheep to get that one sheep that has gone astray. We shifting again. My Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, God, eh, who is the shepherd? He'll go to that one sheep. That's why the Bible says, listen, he'll leave the 99 for the one. So you got the shepherd in the natural. He'll say, wait a minute. I'm missing some sheep now. I'm missing the sheep. Hold on. Let me go get that sheep. And what happens is this is why they got to get the ride. Oh, y'all not ready tonight. <laughs> Apostle Blunt, they ain't ready tonight. Hallelujah. This is why the, the shepherd got to get the ride to take. Mm. Somebody shout the ride of correction. I take it. Come on here. Sometimes he got to put that thing around our neck and say, wait a minute. I told you to go this way. I ain't tell you to go. I didn't tell you to go over there. I didn't tell you to stay connected to them. I told you to come this way. Come on, I, that's what I told you to do now. So now I got, mm. so the Lord got to come and take that ride. He got to put it around your neck and it don't feel good after a while, but it's going to save your life. Woo, hallelujah. S see, mm, when the shepherd in the natural has to go, amen, and get that sheep, guess what? Listen, he say, it's all right because I'd rather save their life. Hallelujah, didn't them, didn't them to dig and keep on digging. And listen, and if you read up on the sheep, the adrenaline is pumping even the more. Now the sheep is sweating. My God, and all that's happening inside of the sheep is now coming out of the sheep. And that's how the sheep can die. Woo! Who am I talking to? We done shifted again. God said, I don't want you to die in your situation. He said, let the rod of correction come now. Hallelujah. So that I can, oh God, I can pull you up out of that place that you were in. Oh, that was designed for the enemy. My God. Hallelujah. See, the sheep, when it goes astray, it got lured away. Most of the time when the sheep goes astray, it ain't going away because it don't see nothing. Come on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, sometimes that sheep is distracted. We done shifted again. I'm trying to get back to Philippians, but we done shifted. We all the way out there in the deep now. Hallelujah. Listen, the sheep only gets distracted. And once it gets distracted, then it goes the other way. Come on here. Hallelujah. Because if you think about it, you have the herd of sheep. The shepherd is like, okay, all the sheep are together. What what happened to get that sheep <laughs> to get distracted? Oh, this is good. I hear 12. The Lord say 12 of you being blessed right here. Oh, because God is pulling you back now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pulling you back now because he has a blessing with your name on it. See, you got to understand when God says, see, behold, I would do a new thing. In order for the new thing to even begin to manifest, you got to be in proper position. He says, so many of you have got to come with the rod of correction tonight. It don't feel good. Just say, ouch. And after you say, ouch, say, Lord, fix it. He's, he's bringing that rod of correction to all 37. Come on, 37. Y'all need to share tonight. Y'all ain't clicking that share button and hitting those hearts for Jesus. <laughs> come on, Tiffany. Hallelujah. He says, so I got to bring you back in again. Glory to God. Yes, it hurts. Hallelujah. But guess what? God bless you, um, Apostle Derek. God bless you, my brother. I love you. Thank you. Keep me in your prayers. Amen. 
Hallelujah. He says, so listen, that ride got to come. Hallelujah. And it got to bring you back to the place that you needed to be from the beginning. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. And then now the whole herd of sheep can go the way they need to go. They can go where they need to go. Hallelujah. And now the shepherd, oh God, who is Jesus himself. Woo. Hallelujah. Now the shepherd, the good shepherd is saying, okay, I know where they at now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know where they're at now. Glory to God. Yes, Lord, I hear you. And the Lord says, even when that sheep is going astray, now you got the wolves. Woo! Now you got the wolves and now you got the jaguars. Oh, y'all not ready. Now you got the cheetah that's looking and saying, wait a minute. Oh, it's a sheep that went astray. Hold on. That's some meat right there. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, that took us on a whole animal planet type of thing. <laughs> Glory to God. Just for you to get the revelation. Somebody shout out. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I ain't watched Animal Channel in a long time. Hallelujah. Y'all not ready tonight. Hallelujah. Back in Philadelphia, I used to watch it all the time. But I see it in the spirit now. Hallelujah. And that's just like when the sheep, amen, is stuck. And if that shepherd don't get to it in time, you best believe it's a tiger. You best believe it's a, a cheetah. You best believe it's an animal that is watching. Hallelujah. To go ahead and try to kill my God. Hallelujah. And to devour that sheep. That's why that shepherd said, wait a minute. Where is my sheep? Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I got to find. I got to find my sheep. Hold on. Hold on, where is it? Oh, 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 it's some smoke over there. Cause, Cause the dirt, the dirt and the dust, hallelujah, is kicking up now. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah, wait a minute, the dirt and the dust is kicking up over there. So let me go over there where it looks like a catastrophe. Hallelujah, it looks like something bad, but oh, I done found my sheep. Oh, this is good tonight. Hallelujah, somebody shout, wait a minute. So my situation was thinking, my situation was bad like that. Yeah, it was bad like that to where God had to see where you were. It doesn't mean that he didn't know. Because God knows all things. Hallelujah. But even as he's tending to the, oh, y'all going to catch this revelation. Even as he's tending to the other sheep and you don't want to stray because you done got Lord the way. He said, you know what? I got confidence in the 99 because I done told them what to do. Hold on. Let, let me go get this one right here. That think they know what they doing. <laughs> Let, let, let me go let, mm, let, let me go get this one right here that is very dear to my heart that I have great purpose for that one day is going to lead the pack of the sheep. See, the enemy always distracts the one that's going to lead. Oh, this is good tonight. Somebody shout, wait a minute, that's why I was distracted? I was distracted because I'm about to lead? Hold on, wait a minute. I was distracted because... Wait a minute. This, this situation happened because because I'm a leader. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So so I went through all of this. Ooh, y'all about to make me really. If I get up and I run around, I ain't coming back. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I ain't coming back because I'm gonna take a sprint in my living room. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna probably go upstairs. I'm yeah. Mm -hmm, I'm, I'm come back down. I'm gonna try to make my way back to the camera, but I just might not get the evangelist Michi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, wait a minute. I'm going through all of this because I'm about to help somebody else. Woo. That's why. That's why it seemed like when I went astray, the shepherd wasn't nowhere to find me. That's why. That as I begin to wander, as I, who am I talking to? As I begin to wander and it seemed like I was losing my mind, glory to God, hallelujah. And wait a minute. It's all because I had to go through that to experience that. God says, yes, hallelujah, because you are eventually going to lead the pack. And you're going to be able to identify another sheep that is going astray. I'm done. I'm about to close the book. I'm about to turn this live off. <laughs> Hallelujah. God said, you ain't done. He said, you ain't done. Wait a minute. It's about eight of y'all. Hallelujah. That the Holy Ghost got to pull back again. Hallelujah. It's about eight of y'all that God got to minister to. Hallelujah. God ain't going to leave you. Glory to God. He'll never leave you comfortless. My God. Hallelujah. He'll be with you even until the ends of the earth. My Lord. So even for those of you that are in the valley right now. Oh, yes, God, I hear you. We shifting again. The Lord says you now have to speak to it. He said, but you can only speak what you see. 
Come on, Ezekiel. <laughs> Hallelujah. We shifting again. Glory to God, because there's about eight of you. You need to speak to the situation now. You said, wait a minute. Okay, she coming on my street. Hold on, Holy Ghost. I feel it now. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to speak to it now. Yes, Minister Yolanda. You got to speak to it now, but you can only speak what you see. Woo! That's why God said, look, see, I'm doing a new thing. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, speak those things that be not as though they were. Somebody shout, word means past tense. So we can no longer consider in our vocabulary the things that were. Catch the revelation. Come on here. We don't go back. Hallelujah. We don't, we don't even talk backwards. Who am I talking to? Hallelujah. We, we, oh God. Hallelujah. We always speak in forward motion because that's where God has taken us. Come on. He ain't taking you back no more. You learned the lesson. Somebody shout, I learned the lesson. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout, I learned the lesson. Wait a minute, God, you, you ain't got to rebuke me like that no more. You don't have to chastise me in that area anymore because I learned the lesson. Who am I talking to? Some of you, this was the worst storm of your life. Some of you, this was the worst crisis of your life. You say, how am I going to get out of this? And you can't blame it on the pandemic either. For all y'all pandemic folk, stop. Because even in the midst of the pandemic, God still provides. Oh, y'all not ready. Hallelujah. I haven't lost anything. Come on, somebody. The true children of God, we ain't lose nothing. If anything, we gained. Come on here. I even moved in the midst of the pandemic. When the pandemic started, I moved to Raleigh, North Carolina. Come on here. Listen, in a beautiful home. So you can't tell me, amen, that God is still not moving. Come on. Never missed a meal. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all complaining, but you ain't never missed a meal. God is saying, be grateful for where you are. Hallelujah, because I'm getting ready to take you to a greater place now. Hallelujah, because you learned to suffer. Hey, Shatanda Baha. Hallelujah, you learned, you learned to suffer when you had a little bit. Even though the little bit sustained you, Sister Maisha. Woo, hallelujah, even though the little bit. And God is saying, even now, as he has sustained you, when you have a grateful heart, who am I talking to? Hallelujah, now God is about to shift you to a new dimension in him. See, you had to go through it. You had to suffer. Come on, hallelujah. The apostle Paul said it was good that I was afflicted, that I might know him. Ah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. It was good that they rejected me. <laughs> Come on, it was good they turned their back on you. Listen, I know it hurt. Hallelujah, because those sleepless nights and those nights when you cried and soaked the pillow up, who am I talking to? Hallelujah, it's nothing like being in a situation and you're not received, you're being rejected. I hear 13, the Lord says 13 of you just came from this season of rejection. Oh, God got your message tonight. Hallelujah. He said, because the rejection was for your protection. Ah, hallelujah. He, he says, yes, I allowed them to reject you to protect you. Hallelujah. Because if they did not reject you, mm, hallelujah, it would not have been enough for you to leave. Ah, glory to God. <laughs> he said you would have still stayed. He said, so my protection was in the rejection. Woo. It, it was all in the plan. It was good, Evangelist Michi. Hallelujah. It was good, Evangelist Arlene. <laughs> it's good they threw you to the side and said, oh, ain't nothing to you. They're about to see God use you in a way that they never thought that God would use you. Hallelujah. Come on here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He uses those who are chosen. God doesn't use us because we're wonderful. He uses us because we're chosen. Hallelujah. He has chosen us before the foundation of the world, which means people of God. He knows already what's inside of you. He knew you wasn't going to break. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on, Job. <laughs> we shifting again. Let's shift. Hallelujah. Come on, Job. Hallelujah. Job was an upright man. Hallelujah. Job knew the word of God. Job knew his God. He said, wait a minute. I'm not going to deny God. God done brought me through too much stuff. And that's when his wife said, why don't you just curse God and die? Job, you got boils all over your body. You sick, Job. Job said, foolish woman, if you don't get out of here. Hallelujah. He said, though he slay me. Yet will I trust him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then 42 chapters later. Y'all read your Bibles? Anybody read the Bible? Listen, 42 chapters later, Job was what? Restored. Double. He got double for his trouble. Come on. The Bible said that Job lost everything. Woo! Who am I talking to tonight? Because even in your season of glory, even in this season of look again, 
God says, I'm going to restore you. Hallelujah. You're going to look and see restoration on this side, that side. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to restore you. Hallelujah. Everything that you lost, I'm going to restore it, but I'm going to restore it double. I feel like running again. If we was in church, I'm telling y'all, we have about 12 praise breaks. This will be about, this will be about praise break number 12. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, Job, he wasn't restored until 42 and 10. Hallelujah. Those of you that need restoration, that's your seed amount tonight. Somebody say $42.10. Yes. Hallelujah. And name your seed restoration. Don't be scared either. As the young people say, don't be scared. Come on here. Don't, don't be scared to sow. Hallelujah. Because this ministry is very good soil. Don't be scared to sow now. Hallelujah. 42 and 10. Hallelujah. Job was not restored until 42 chapters later. But the Bible said that Job had a responsibility before his restoration. What did he have to do? He had to pray for his friends. See, Job had to pray for those who talked about him. Because I promise you, they said Job did something. I know he had to do something, Katrina. I know she had to do something. I know Anita did something to receive what it is that she's receiving right now. Come on, Minister CC. That's what they say. Oh, what she receiving right now, she deserve it. You think? Come on here. No, no, it's just a part of your process. Hey, <laughs> it's just a part of your process. Hallelujah. You got to go through the process so that when people say, wait a minute, I thought you had it going on. I thought what you had that you kindly walked away from because God told you to walk away from it. Wait a minute. I thought that was everything. Hey, because how many of you know people look on the outside? They, they don't really know what's going on on the inside. Hey, hallelujah. People would judge your situation. They would judge your storm based upon what they think they know. Come on here. But it's the Holy Ghost. Hey, hallelujah. That's, that's behind closed doors. It's the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel another shift tonight. It's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's keeping your mind at night. Glory to God. It's the Holy Spirit that is rocking you to sleep. My God. Hallelujah. That is helping you make it day by day. Somebody shout, it's the Holy Ghost. Hey, and that will be your testimony. The Holy Spirit kept me. I feel God moving. It was the Holy Ghost, Martha. The Holy Spirit kept me. The Holy Spirit kept my mind when I could have lost my mind. Mm, hallelujah. Has anybody ever been in a situation where you had your back up against the wall to where you felt like you wasn't going to come out, but God made you a promise that he was going to deliver you out? That's just like Job. Hallelujah. God told Job, he said, wait a minute, Job. The time is going to come. You just don't know when. Come on, Job. Wait a minute. I need you to hold on. Hallelujah. Don't forget my benefits, Job. Hallelujah. Don't forget how I sustained you. Don't forget. Hallelujah. How I gave you everything in the beginning. And I'm the God that can give it to you double back again. Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody shout back again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says, I'm going to give you what I gave you from the beginning, but I'm going to give it back to you again. Somebody get your restoration seed in the ground. Do not be scared. Some of y'all scared. I don't know what you're scared for. <laughs> Come on, saints of the most high God. Hallelujah. We can sit there and receive the word, but you scared to sow? You better sow for your restoration because God says within the next seven days. Hey, hallelujah. He says within the next seven days, he's going to restore you. My God, some of you in seven days is going to start. And then some of you within seven days is going to be completed. Hey, somebody shot a week from now. Wait a minute, all that I endured, all that I lost. Wait a minute, I lost my, my pride. I, I lost, come on somebody, I lost my joy. Hallelujah, come on somebody. See, sometimes situations can cause you to lose some things. You lose your drive. You lose your joy, you lose your happiness. Come on, some, some, some of you had pride in what you were doing. You even had pride in your job. You love what you did. You love what God allowed you to do. But your situation has caused you to not even... Some of y'all just like, mm -mm, I give up. I give up because I don't have this in place. I give up. Hey, God says he's going to restore back your joy. Come on, get your seed of 42 and 10 in the ground. Don't be, don't be afraid. Some of y'all afraid. What you afraid of? Come on here. God is here. Ah, glory. Somebody shout, God is here. Come on. Somebody shout, the Lord is in this place. Hey, come on. Somebody shout, the Lord is in this place. So the apostle Paul, listen, he gets to the prize. He gets to the prize because he stayed focused. Somebody shout, see, see, I got to stay focused in this season. So what did he say? He says in verse 14, I'm sorry, 13. Let's continue with 13. He says, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. He says, forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching forth. See, that's how we know right there that he stayed focused. 
See, we know, glory to God, that he stayed focused, Sister Melissa, because he reached forth. The Bible didn't say he reached back. Come on. He says, listen, and reaching forth unto the things that are before me. Come on. Stephanie's saying, what's the cash at? Can I get one of the ministers? I see y'all hitting the hearts, ministers, but don't get so excited. Amen. Come on, ministers. I need y'all to post the four ways to sell. Amen. If I can get one of the ministers just to post it. Amen. There were those that are asking the question. Amen. Where they can sow their seed at. Glory to God. He says, so forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to the things that are before. He says what? I press. I press. Come on. And in order to press, you got to look forward. Come on. In order to press, you got to keep your eyes focused like this. Come on. In order to reach forth, you got to know where you're reaching. So you have to stay focused and you got to stay in the front. Come on. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying, even now, some of you, he, oh God, some of you, he moved some people out of the way so that you could reach. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. I hear you. Yes, Lord. I hear you. Sister Natasha, God said he moved some people out the way so that you can reach forward. See, it's hard to reach if somebody's in front of you. Somebody gonna catch that sometime tomorrow. Listen, it's hard to reach forward and you got people in front of you. You don't wanna reach forward because you think you're gonna hit somebody. But God is saying, for many of you, I cleared the way. Hallelujah, I cleared the path for you, Alanda. I cleared the path so that you could reach forward. Hallelujah, so that you could reach in front of you, Joy. Hallelujah, and receive what it is that God has for you. He says, listen, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God that is what? In Christ Jesus. Glory to God. You can turn it. Turn it on. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, listen, I've learned to press. Ah, glory. He said, I've learned to stay in a forward motion, Debbie. Glory to God. He said, because listen, if I look back, Nicole, if I look back, I'm going to miss the mark. My Lord, he says, if I look back, I'm going to miss the mark. Ah, glory to God. And that reminds me even of Isaiah. Amen. Come on, somebody. Isaiah 43. Let's go back to it. Come on. Let's go back to it. Amen. Because the Bible, listen, if somebody shout the Bible is true. Come on. Somebody shout the word of God is true. Hallelujah. God can't lie. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. The word of God is what? It is true. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43. Let's go back to it. It all ties together. He says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. See that? So when we look back, we go back. When we look back, we backtrack. <laughs> Come on. Somebody shout, I ain't looking back no more. Ain't nothing for me in my past. Because God told me to look. God told me to look. He said, behold, I'm getting ready to do a new thing. I'm about to perform it. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. I just need you to let go. Come on. He said, the moment you let go, then I can put it in front of you and now you can reach for it. Ah, glory to God. I see many of you reaching in this season. I see many of you reaching in this season where you were restricted. The Lord is showing me, Sherry. Hallelujah. That now, woman of God, you're going to be able to reach. Ah, glory. He says, where you were restricted. He says, now I'm going to give you the ability because I cleared the path. I'm going to give you the ability to reach forward now. He says, behold, I will do a new thing. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. Some of you were so tired of your past, it started looking real ugly to you. The Lord is showing me. Some of you, even some people in your past, you started seeing them exactly for who they are. You're like, wait a minute, this, this situation is getting real ugly. I didn't know it looked like that. But God says, see, I had to show you. I had, I had to let it get real stank and, <laughs> and I had to let it get real ugly. Come on, we shifting again. Y'all ready for the fourth shift? <laughs> hallelujah. That's just like Lazarus. Hey, hallelujah. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. See, see, Lazarus was dead for four days. But see, it took Lazarus dying. Hallelujah. For the people to understand that Jesus was the resurrection. And that's just like some of you's situation. Hallelujah. The way you getting ready to rise up out of that, prophetess T, they're going to say, surely there is a God. Hey, hallelujah. Wait a minute. God brought her out of that. God brought her out of that attack. Wait a minute. I thought she was going to die in that. I thought he was going to die in that situation. Wait a minute. Surely there is a God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Martha and Mary, they said, wait a minute. Jesus, if you had been here, our brother would not have even died. He said, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Just hold up. I am the resurrection. You don't know that? 
Come on here. Yes, he's been dead for four days. Yes, he's been stinking for four whole days. But wait a minute. I'm going to come on the scene. And when I step on the scene, just know that I am the resurrection. Hallelujah. That's for 15 of you tonight. Hallelujah. God's getting ready to resurrect you out of your situation. Glory to God. He's about to come see you. Hallelujah. He's about to come see about you. Yes, it took some time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said Jesus was just coming from doing another miracle. Hey, hallelujah. See, sometimes you got to understand that the Lord, <laughs> God, I hear you. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to understand that the Lord is working miracles over there. So he said, wait a minute, my son, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just, just wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I know your situation. I know it's thinking right now. That doesn't mean that I'm not coming though. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean that I'm not about to show up. Hey, and the Bible said they begin to sojourn. They begin to walk because, you know, Jesus walked everywhere he went. Come on. He walked. That's what they did. He ain't drive. Come on here. So sometimes you got to just wait for him to show up, <laughs> Sister Melissa. Hallelujah. But in the Bible time, listen, Jesus walked and performed miracles. <sighs> So you just got to wait till he show up at your house. Hey, but somebody show, he about to come. He's about to come. Oh, I feel God tonight. Oh, I just felt the release right there from heaven. Who is? I just said that. My God, my God. Some of you going to look up. Hey, hallelujah. You going to see the Lord. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. You going to be able to say, wait a minute. That is, that, that's the Lord right there. Hey, ain't no doubt about it. <laughs> hallelujah some of you yes lord i hear you some of you gonna be able to say wait a minute i waited for this i waited for the lord and that's just like lazarus he knew <laughs> hallelujah see they knew lazarus was dead they was like it's over for him but the bible says glory to god that when jesus appeared when jesus showed up prophetess t when jesus showed up hallelujah mother katie glory to god jesus called his name he said lazarus come forth They thought he was dead. See, when the resurrection shows up, hallelujah, when Jesus shows up, listen, you hear his name. Come on, you, you hear him calling your name. You hear whatever comes out of his mouth because he is the resurrection. He's God all by himself. Hallelujah. Somebody else could have called Lazarus' name and he would have still been dead. Mm, I feel God tonight. Hallelujah. Listen, hey, Shatan Nabaha. Hallelujah. Some people try to call your name. Oh, God, I hear you. They try to call your name and bring you out of your situation. God said, uh-uh. I got this. They only going to respond to my voice. Hey, glory to God. The Bible said that when Jesus had said, Lazarus, come forth, Lazarus responded. The Bible said he came forth. In his grave clothes. He came forth from the cold. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bound hand and foot. He responded to his name. It's 15 of you tonight. You better respond. Because God is calling your name, Andrea. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling your name tonight. Hey, hallelujah. So it's time for you to respond. Hallelujah. Your situation is about to look a little bit better, but now it's time for you to respond. Hallelujah. See, Jesus called Lazarus' name. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Come forth. And in the presence of the people, Lazarus did what? He responded. Hallelujah. How do we know he responded? Because he came forth. Hallelujah. And Jesus performed yet another miracle. Somebody shout in this season. Mm. As, as, as God is calling my name. I feel like running all through my house, y'all. Somebody take a sprint for me tonight. Hallelujah. He said, just as I call Lazarus forth, I'm calling you forth tonight. He said, but this time I need you to respond. Woo. I see breakthroughs. I see breakthroughs. I see breakthroughs. I see breakthroughs. Hallelujah. I said, I see breakthroughs. As God is calling your name, Andrea, I see your breakthrough. Hallelujah. As God is calling your name, Prophetess T, I see your breakthrough. Tiffany, as God is calling your name, I see your breakthrough. Evangelist Michi, as God is calling your name, I see your breakthrough. <sighs> yes, God. Hallelujah. I see your breakthrough. Some of y'all been waiting for this breakthrough. Some of you been waiting. You didn't know how it was going to happen. You didn't know when it was going to happen. But somebody shout, this is the appointed time. Somebody shout, this is the time where I'm going to look again. Ah, glory. This is the time where I'm going to see the manifold blessings of God that he promised over my life. Somebody shout, this is the time. Oh, I'm going to see it with my own two eyes. Hallelujah. I'm going to receive it with open hands. Come on here. Where the givers at tonight? 
Come on, somebody. Because see, you can only receive when your hands is open. Ha! Glory to God. Come on here. You can only receive when your hands are open. If your hands are like this, you can't receive nothing. Just open your hands. Hallelujah. Open your hands so God can put something in your hand. Hallelujah. Come on, open your hands so that the blessings can come in your hand. Hallelujah. Catch the revelation. If your hands are like this, Minister Marnet, come on. I know God is dealing with you about giving. And listen, you're you on the right road. You're on the right path, woman of God. Hallelujah. But now it's time to open your hand. Lord, this is what I have. This is what I have, God, and I'm going to give it to you freely. Hallelujah. Not grudgingly or of necessity. I'm going to give it to you just like this. The way you put it in my hand, God, I'm going to give it back to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me something in my hand, God. Thank you for giving me seed to sow, God. Thank you, hallelujah, that yes, it's not over for me, but I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah, and I'm going to trust you with the little bit that I have. Come on. Come on. I'm going to trust you now, God. Hallelujah, because you've been speaking to me. Hallelujah, you, you've, been, you've been speaking to me, God. You strengthened me, so I, can, I have no choice but to trust you now. <sighs> I have no choice but to give you my all now. Glory to God. I preached a message last week. What was it? The Lord, yes, God. He, the Lord said, he said, now in this season is going to require a greater sacrifice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God brought it back to my remembrance. He said, in this season is going to require a greater sacrifice for you to follow him now. Come on. Because many of you, you're coming out. Many of you came out already. Come on. Are you ready to take off? You ready to sprint? You ready to run? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just make sure that when you run, you got your eyes open. Make sure that when you run, you look and you see. Make sure that when you run and the devil is calling your name, that you don't answer him. You make sure that you don't look back. Who am I talking to? Come on. Make sure that you don't look back. Hey. Hallelujah. Make sure that you don't look back so that you can continue to look forward. Come on. So that you can continue to reach forward. Somebody shout, this message got my name all over it. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout, this message right here has my whole entire name all over it. You about to see what God spoke. Did you hear me? You are about to see what the Lord has spoken. Mm. My God, my God. Tony says, see, so. Come on, hallelujah. We got some sowers tonight. Glory to God. Come on, we got some givers tonight that don't mind giving unto the Lord. Because you know what you're saying, God? I'm going to seal the word that you just released into my spirit. I'm not going to allow the enemy to snatch this word. Because this is an on-time word for me. And God, I've been waiting for this word. Hey, hallelujah. I see some of you in waiting. I see you in the waiting. I see you waiting. Some of you have been waiting. And it's nothing like when you have been waiting on God and he blesses you. So release your seed tonight. Amen. Whatever the amount is, 21, 25, 50, 75, 100, whatever the Lord places upon your heart, release that seed into good soil. Amen. Release that seed unto God and say, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that this is my appointed time. Amen. Joy says, what's the cash app? If somebody can post the four ways to sow again, I will pin it. Amen. It was hard for me to see why I was ministering. I do apologize if one of the ministers did post the four ways to sow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Tia says, see, so. Amen. She said, this word is for me. Glory to God. She says, thank you, Lord, for this message and the messenger. God bless you, Tia. God bless you. You will see the manifestation. I promise you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Such a sweet spirit on tonight. Glory to God. I told one of my spiritual daughters today, amen, as I was talking to her and ministering to her, the word of the Lord, amen, God told me to tell her that she was going to rest tonight, amen. So I release that upon each and every one of you. You're going to rest in the Lord tonight. You're going to rest knowing that God has spoken unto you. You're going to rest knowing that this word is soon to manifest. Somebody shout manifestation is coming sooner than I know. Hallelujah. Quicker than you can think. <laughs> it will show up. Hallelujah. It will show up. Amen. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, amen. Don't be surprised the package that it comes in. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He says seven. The Lord says seven of you. Don't be surprised the package that your blessing comes in. Yeah. Don't be surprised. Amen. Thank you, uh, Sister Kamaya. 
I mean, I don't know if somebody posted the four ways to sow, so I can go ahead and pin it right there, please. Glory to God. Amen. I still see Minister Tanya's on. Would you be so kind to post the four ways to sow? I'll click that little pin button. <laughs> Amen. For those that desire to sow. The ministry cash app is P-I-P-W ministry. All right. It's dollar sign P-I-P-W ministry. There is another ministry similar to ours. So if you type in prophetic impact, it will say something like um, prayer ministry or something like that. Intercessory prayer ministry. That is not us. Amen. You want to make sure that it's a pink flyer on the cash app all right god bless you t god bless you terrence amen he says good word good word amen to god be the glory to god be the glory so glad you were able to tune in amen you know that there's a calling and a promise on your life man of god amen i don't even have to tell you that amen i don't know if you're still with us um t but you already know amen you a general <laughs> you a born leader hallelujah and that's why people follow you amen they follow you because you're a born leader Glory to God. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Listen, and that, that ties right in with the sheep. Amen. God had to rescue you so that you can rescue others. Amen. You already know. Hallelujah. We done had multiple talks. Amen. About the calling that's on your life and the anointing that's on your life. Hallelujah. That's why it destroys yokes everywhere you go, man of God. Everywhere you go. I just hear the Lord saying it destroys yokes. Listen, it goes through alcohol. Listen, the anointing that's on your life, it go through marijuana. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you speaking to somebody, it, it, it go right through. It goes right through. It, the Holy Spirit just, hey, shatan mm. I just felt the release for you. Amen, Terrence. Listen, he said, oh, God. You want me to say this, Lord? Yes, Lord, I hear you. <laughs> hallelujah. He says, continue to open your mouth and minister because you're doing so much more ministry in the streets than some are doing in the church. Ah, Hallelujah. That's why I tell people sometimes your ministry ain't in the pulpit. Stop trying to grab the microphone when you get in the church. That might not be your ministry. I try to tell the church that all the time. Listen, that might not be your ministry might be in the prison. Come on, your ministry might be in the streets. Your ministry might be in your family. God may say, can you can you can you pray for your family first? Come on, before I put you out there on front street, I need to know that you're going to be responsible. Hallelujah. I need to know that you're going to carry what I gave you and not be ashamed. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because having a street ministry, you got to be, listen, you can't be afraid to go in the trenches. Sometimes you got to go in the alleyway. Sometimes, oh, you got to meet people right where they are. Come on. <laughs> and that's what I see for you, man of God. Amen. So God bless you, Terrence. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Listen, I, I'm overjoyed, y'all. I'm so filled up. I'm like, mm. I don't even know. I, listen, the Lord said he's going to put us to sleep tonight, but uh, I think I'm going to be up for another hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues and giving God praise for what he has done on tonight. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying 17. Amen. 17 of you received this word. Amen. We got 40 people watching. So that means the rest of you, y'all need to catch up. <laughs> Come on. You need to catch up and say, I receive. I receive the word of God. Come on. Hallelujah. You need to say, I receive, I receive. And yes, Lord, I hear you. And sometimes you have to come out of fear. Amen. Sometimes you got to come out of fear. The Lord is showing me some of you are fearful. I might be new. This might be your first time seeing me or hearing me. You know, this might be a new ministry that you're experiencing. Don't be afraid because that's how God is speaking in the land now. He's speaking through unknown voices. Come on, somebody. Unknown meaning you might not know my name. <laughs> hallelujah you just know that i'm of god amen you may not ever know my name you may not ever see me you may not ever experience our ministry here in raleigh north carolina but just know that god has ministered to you tonight however you got here amen because a lot of my members amen if they tell you their testimony they either joined our prayer line and that's because somebody shared the prayer line you know sometimes they say apostle i don't even know how i got here I don't even know how I even saw you. I don't even know how I heard, you know, but I, the Holy Spirit just led me. Many of you, that's your testimony. So we bless God. Amen. We got some new visitors, new um, watchers that are on. Amen. On tonight. So we say welcome. If this is your first time, let me know this is your first time. I would love to minister the word of the Lord to you personally. Amen. I'll prophesy to three people tonight and then we got to get off. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the power of God reign on this ministry. Amen. We received that. We received that too. Yes, we received the blessings. Yes. You got to come here to Raleigh. Amen. You got to come here. We love to have you too. We love to have you too. Let me know when you're coming to visit. Amen. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, do we have any first time viewers on tonight? Did some of you invite some people and they're on tonight? Let me know that they're on. Amen. I prophesied to three people on tonight. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, there's 40 of you tonight. I know it's somebody that's new on here. Don't be afraid. I bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus and I loose him in the peace of God over this broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She ain't my pastor. I got a pastor. All right, but the Lord led you here. I'm a prophet. Hey, Shatan Nabaha. Hallelujah. Sometimes you need to hear the prophetic word of the Lord for your life. Amen. I teach my ministry. One prophetic word from God can change your entire life. Listen, it can put you on a street called straight. Amen. So we got Gwenda. All right, Gwenda, God bless you tonight. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up Gwenda tonight before you, oh God. And I just ask right now, God, that you would touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, Father. Whatever the situation is right now, God, I ask that you would go and see about Gwenda in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Oh God, I thank you even now, God, that there may be a crisis in her life. Yes, Lord, I hear you. There's a situation in her life, God, but I ask that you would breathe upon that situation right now for Gwenda in the name of Jesus, God. Give her the spirit of of hope even now god give it yes lord i hear you give us strength oh god in her season right now god in this season mm. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. I just ask right now, God, you would give Gwenda strength in this season. God, be her strength in this season, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give her back her joy. Oh, God, restore the joy of her salvation in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, and Father, I thank you even now, yes, Lord, mm, that you are touching Gwenda. Hallelujah, God. Send healing to her body even now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Heal right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, God, eh, even her blood, Father. Yes, God, regulate her blood, oh, God, whatever the condition is. Oh, God, Father, I just ask right now that you would touch even her blood, that you would purify her blood in the name of Jesus. And Father, when she goes back to the doctor, my God, hallelujah, that God, she would receive a, a good report in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you even now for driving out any infections, anything that may be causing her to not feel well in her body. Lord, I just ask right now a special healing for Gwenda in the name of Jesus. That God, you would get the glory out of her life, God. And Lord, send help. Hey, Shatan Baha. God, send the help that she's standing in need of, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Remind her tonight, even this morning, that she's not by herself. Oh, God, you are with her even now. And Father, we thank you for the release in Gwenda's spirit. I thank you even now, God, that she's going to be able to release even the tears and even the pain. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus that she feels from time to time. Lord, I just ask right now, God, mm, hallelujah, that as this is her first time, Lord, and God, you are speaking to her and ministering to her even now, that Father, you will release what it is that she stands in need of, and that God, you will make yourself known to Gwenda in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. God, send the rescue. Send the finances, Father. Oh, God, send what it is that she has need of, oh, God. Oh, God, perform a miracle for Gwenda in the name of Jesus. Just when people thought that it was over for her. My Lord, Father, I thank you for breathing fresh breath upon her even now and strengthening her in the situation that she is in. Father, you will get the glory. You will get all the honor. You will get all the praise out of her life and her situation. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that I do pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you, Gwenda. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. God bless you. Amen. Stay connected to the ministry. I don't know if there's a follow button, uh, Gwenda, that you can actually click to stay connected to PIPW ministry, but I am Apostle Carmen Haywood, and you are more than welcome to join us again. Amen. Hallelujah. Any other first time viewers? Come on. I got two more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I believe it was, amen, um, Pastor Moore. Amen. Pastor Moore, are you still with us on tonight? Amen. The woman of God, I believe she said a prayer or a word. Amen. Y'all bear with me for a second here. Amen. Just want to make sure that, um, okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Andrea says me. All right. Amen. Andrea, I hear the spirit of the Lord say restoration shall be your portion in this season. For everything that you have lost, Andrea, God is going to restore it back. Amen. This message was for you tonight. 
Hallelujah. This entire message was for you. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say to go back and listen to it again. Andrea, go back and listen to it again. Hallelujah. Go back and listen to it again. That's what I hear the Lord saying to tell you. Go back and listen to this message again. So once it's over, Andrea, go back and listen to this message. Like, amen. That's what I hear the Lord saying. I don't know when you came on, but I hear God said to tell you to go back and listen. Because in the beginning, oh God, the Lord says in the beginning, there's going to be a breaking in your spirit. For you have gone through so much, Andrea, in your life that it has called you to be hard. It has called you to be hard and harden your heart. It has caused your heart to be hard and save the Lord. But God says, even now he's going to break that stony heart. He's going to give you a heart of flesh. Yes, Lord, I hear you. And God says, he's also planting your feet in this season. Andrea, I don't know where you fellowship. I don't know what church you are a part of, but I hear the Lord saying he's going to plant your feet in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. I see your feet, um, Andrea, and God is showing me your feet. But your feet are going to be anchored this time. Hallelujah. You will not go to the left. You will not go to the right. The Lord says you will not even shift in, in a way that he doesn't want you to shift, Andrea. And I hear the Lord saying in this season, not only is restoration going to come for you, um, Andrea, but God's going to also heal you. Hallelujah. There's a healing that you need in your body, but there's also, so that's physical. You need a physical healing. Amen. But you also need spiritual healing. Amen. And what God is showing me, Amen, that you trusted a lot of people. My Lord, you trusted a lot of people. And the people that you trusted, they wound you. They they backstabbed you. And and, and and one person, the Lord is showing me that they they stabbed you. They hurt you really bad, but they came back again and did it again. And God says, even now, Andrea, that he's healing that wound. He's healing, amen, that, that hurt. Glory to God. But it has called you to not trust people. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that you will begin to trust. Amen. You will begin to trust again. Hallelujah. Yes, you will be able to trust again, Andrea. It's a process. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord says in the next seven months, amen, you will be completely healed. And anytime God says within a time frame, it could be next week or it could take seven months. But I hear the Lord saying seven months and God says seven months because he wants you to forgive Jesus. But there's somebody, you know, that's connected to the person that hurt you. And that's why God said it could be extended for you not to forgive. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know who I'm talking about, Andrea? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about, Andrea? It's a connection. Somebody's connected to, the, to somebody else. And God says the moment that you forgive, because there's a connection, but you have to disconnect. And yes, it's going to hurt, but you got to disconnect for your healing. And a lot of times people don't understand that when you're in a situation, excuse me, and you're crying out to God, because that's where you are, Andrea, you're crying out to the Lord. You have to disconnect. And what happens is, Andrea, sometimes people will um, do little things to make it seem like they, they're, they're not the same way that they were before but i pray that god would increase your discernment andrea hallelujah that god would increase your discernment and and the lord says this time as he's increasing your discernment andrea he says listen this time he says listen this time listen this time listen this time you gotta listen this time all right listen this time and as you listen andrea it's gonna bless your life Amen. It's going to bless your life. I see within the next 10 days, God is showing me a greater strength that is going to come upon you also. Um, because of all you've been through, Andrea, not just the trust issues, but sometimes you feel like you're not, not strong enough to be able to keep going. The Lord is showing me, Andrea, that you will be strong enough in this season to be able to endure the hardship. Amen, Andrea. You will be able to um, endure the hardship. Glory to God. Within the next 10 days, a greater strength is going to come upon you. And that strength is coming from God and God alone. Amen. That is the word of the Lord concerning you, Andrea. God bless you. Amen. Stay connected to PIPW ministry. Amen. We got one more. Amen. There's one more. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. To God be all the glory. One more. Amen. There's one more. Listen, as I'm waiting for that other person to come forth, we are in Raleigh, North Carolina. The address to our church, and I keep saying I'm a pen, um, 
I keep saying I'm a pin the four ways to sew. <laughs> Amen. Can somebody post it again? <laughs> Can somebody post the four ways to sew one more time for me? I promise I'm a pin it this time. Amen. I promise you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Yes, yes. I wanted to invite you all to our church. So it's 3670 Bastard Lane. Amen. Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. God bless you, Minister Marnay. Yes. Sweet sleep to you, woman of God. Amen. Sweet rest in Jesus' name. Um, 3670. Um, Bastard Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. If you put in the Ezra Center, you keep getting caught up. <laughs> Listen, if you put in the Ezra Center, I got you, Sonia. Stay right there. If you put in the Ezra Center, it will take you right to our church. I'm telling you, Ezra, E-Z-R-A, Center. It will take you right to our church, 3670 Bastard Lane. We are there every Sunday at 2 p.m., coming on here was not a mistake. Amen, Nicole. God bless you. Stay connected. Stay connected. Listen, we are there every Sunday at 2 p.m. All right. God is doing something amazing in the sanctuary. You want to be there. All right. You really want to be there in Jesus name. All right. So you all have been invited. Listen, you might say I'm not in Raleigh. I'm not in North Carolina. I'm in South Carolina. That's okay. Amen. All roads lead to North Carolina. I promise you. Amen. You might even be in Philadelphia, my hometown. Listen, come on out October the 9th. Amen. That is my pastor's appreciation service. And I wasn't supposed to say nothing about it, but I feel led to say it. Listen, come on out October the 9th. Stay for the whole weekend. You know, come on the 8th. Come on the 7th. Listen, I believe we have a skating party that is on the 7th. Yeah, we got a skating party that is on the 7th. So come on out. You know, in fellowship with us here in Raleigh, North Carolina, we have an awesome, awesome ministry. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's see who we got here. Y'all bear with me just for a moment. Amen. It was Sonia. God bless you, Sonia. Sonia Music. All right. Yeah, Sonia Thomas. Glory to God. Amen. I just hear the Spirit of the Lord saying he's taking you in a new place. Um, God is, is redirecting you, Sonia. Amen. This is a season of redirection. And the Lord says, listen, listen to his call. Listen to him calling your name. Amen. For God has been calling your name for some time. Hallelujah. God has been calling you. Sonia, God has been calling you. Sonia Thomas, God has been calling you. But listen, listen for the call now. Listen when he calls your name, Sonia. And the Lord says, this time you must answer. You must answer. Yes, it's no coincidence that you were here tonight. Hallelujah. Because God has need of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God has need of you. God has need of you. And what he has called you to do is going to bless so many people. Not just even in music, but it's going to bless so many people. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that he has gifted you with multiple gifts and multiple talents. Hallelujah. Some you have laid dormant. Some you have laid down. But there are some talents that the Father has given you that he wants you to get back into. Amen. I also see you in some type of movement. I don't know if you dance, um, but I see you in some type of movement. The Lord says even in that, there's healing. Hallelujah. There's healing even in your dance. Glory to God. There's healing because there's a release also, Sonia, every time you dance. Some people don't understand it. Amen. Some people don't, they'll never understand why you do the things that you do, but God has given you a release. There's a release in your dance. And I hear the Lord saying, get back to that. Hallelujah. Because that's going to also bring back structure to your life. Amen. Because some things are off balance right now. The Lord is showing me, but I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, as you obey his voice and you obey the prophetic instructions, get back to dance again, whatever the song is, play it. Hallelujah. And as you play it, hey, Shatanda Baha, hallelujah, your body, amen, is going to begin to move. And as your body begins to move, there's a release also. And I'm not talking about, you know, and, and I don't want nobody to get misconstrued with this. And then I'm not talking about provocative dancing. I'm not talking about, you know, the Lord is showing me that there is a strategic um, dance move that you have. There's there's like some dancing um, that you do. And God is showing me even in that dance, there's healing in you. Amen. Because you're releasing what it is that God has given you. It's coming from a pure place. And a lot of people don't understand that, Sonia. But God says he's created you and fashioned you the way that he has created you. Amen. So don't be ashamed of the way that God has created you, Sonia. Even though sometimes he keeps telling me to dance. There's confirmation. Listen, God is amazing. 
Hallelujah. Even though some people, yes, Lord, I hear you. Some people, um, Sonia, they don't understand you. You're very peculiar. You're very different. But that's the way that God created you. Um, but the, you, you have the gift of helps. God is showing me that you have the gift of helps. And so continue to help people. Continue to show genuineness. Continue to show kindness um, to people, Sonia, because you're different. And yes, you'll never fit in. The Lord told me to tell you, you'll never fit in. Even in situations and even in groups, you try to fit in. You'll never fit in. Amen. Because that's the way that God made you. You're peculiar. You're very different. But God says now is the time for you to reach the people. Hallelujah. He has need of you to reach the people. You will find yourself in different group settings. You will find yourself around people, Sonia. And yes, it is the Lord that is leading you to these groups and leading you to these people. Even if they're doing things that you... Um, you don't condone or you feel as though it's out of your league or you might feel like you don't want to be bothered um that's what i hear the lord say sometimes you get ticked off <laughs> you know sometimes you're just like i don't want to be bothered but god says he's leading you mm, 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 mm. he's leading you to these groups he's leading you to these people to be able to help them because what's inside of you is strength what's inside of you is endurance and so many people have not made it out of the situations that you have been in. There are people that have died in situations that you have gone through. My Lord, hallelujah. And I don't know if there was some type of abuse, but God is, my Lord, God is showing me that what you survived, people have died in. And I hear the Lord saying, continue to have a grateful heart. Amen. Don't hold back the tears either, Sonia. Because there's a time for release. There's a time for cleansing. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying. And that's going to also soften your heart. Amen. That's going to also soften um, your drive. Because sometimes your drive is pulled back because of the abuse that you had to endure. Sometimes you don't want to move forward. You don't want to keep going. And that's what abuse has done. It has restricted you. But I hear the spirit of the Lord saying you're breaking free tonight. Hallelujah. You have already broken free tonight. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. You just have to now follow the prophetic instruction that the prophet is giving you. You have to follow it now. Hallelujah. And there will be a testimony, say of the Lord. And I hear God saying also, there's a book, amen, that you have to write. Hallelujah. It's not a big book, but I see it. There's a book that you have to write. There is another person um, that you're going to connect to, um, Sonia, that is already writing. There's somebody that's already writing and you're going to meet them. And when you meet them, Sonia, they're going to give you all the information that you need to write. <laughs> Amen. They're going to give you all the information you need to write. And they're also going to encourage you. So when you come across this person, just know that they're going to encourage you also. Amen. Because sometimes you'll start something and then you'll stop it. You know you're supposed to do it, but you'll start it and then you'll stop it. But this person is coming genuine and they have been where you have been. Amen. Your, 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 yes, Lord, I hear you. Your stories are similar. So when you meet this person, Sonia, just let your guard down and just say, okay, God, you, you, you already told me. Amen. And just let the wisdom and the knowledge that's coming from this person, let it bless you. All right. And make sure you write down everything they tell you and make sure that you keep um, in contact, keep in contact with this person. All right. Because time is going to try to move real quick. When you when you are talking to this person and it, it may be even be a distraction that tries to come but just remember let your guard down remember talk to the person and get their contact information all right because you're going to need it amen and that is the word of the lord concerning you listen people of god i love you all in jesus name we're going to exit on youtube first then we're going to exit on um instagram and then i'm going to exit on facebook but facebook i got something to say to y'all just stay with me all right listen all 33 of you god bless you amen god bless you youtube